Welcome back to Trisha React. My people are don't come again with another better update. This time around, now we get the way where they take destroy houses for inside FCT, where you know they provide additional houses for these poor people. You know good, you know provide any shelter for them. You just leave them under the sun and the rain. And this thing where they do is they push these people to into crime. It go make the country now go day very hot for everybody. Because as these people now they no get house, no food, no shelter, they will be very desperate to do anything to get money. What will happen after this demolition is terrorism, stealing, snatching of phones, killing people to collect things from their hands because these people will be desperate. Na true, na true, na very dark man talk. Make we join hand, take fight this bad government before it go get out of hand. No say because of say you dare your house, you dare your states, you know they see any wahala, nothing they touch you. It go still touch you. If you not touch you today, it will touch you tomorrow. Because all these people will be say that they push come up for their house, they no give their shelter, no money, no food. For this economy where things hard. What these people go do now, they will start to be rapists, then go start to be ritualists, then go start to be kidnappers. And when they don't, they do all these things everywhere, go hot for everybody. I bet me with joy hand, take fight this bad government. Make a live and make a watch the rest of this video. Now don't watch a finish show, make a drop on our own toes for the comment section. I beg if you never subscribe, may subscribe to this channel. Subscription is free, make you free to get our updates. This whole area, as you can see, let's turn round, turn round, come and see. Where do you expect all these people to go to? This place that has been demolished is not anywhere on the road. Please, one house. It's not anywhere on the road or beside the road. Look at the faces of these people. I hate to stereotype, but it is what it is at the end of the day. What will happen after this demolition is terrorism, stealing, snatching of phones, killing people to collect things from their hands because these people will be desperate. At a time like this where the economy is not favoring anybody, people are suffering, the prices of things are going up and you are demolishing. Why can't you try another pattern by actually looking for people in your team to look for a pattern to, to create housing for these people, even if it's a cheaper housing, before you demolish. But so you are demolishing and you are putting them on the stage to go and do what? Are they going back to Boronu, where they are kidnapping, where they are bombing? Are they going back to Kano, where there is ins insurgency and everything? No, they will not go back. They will be here. They will cause another problem for us here. So, at the end of the day, it's so crazy that um, the elites are thinking that the poor people are not part of us. The poor people are your brothers and your sisters. While your, your daughters are at home, these people are other people's daughters and other people's sons. Look at the children, look at them on the ground. What are these kids going to be up? What are they going to grow up and be? Look at them on the ground. Look at them on the ground. No school for them again because their parents do not have anywhere to stay. Different falls now. Like this, the rain will fall on these children and the rain will fall on these people. So, um, Nelson Mwike, Honorable Minister, I don't know what you are using this land for. According to by strategy and according to the law, the only way you demolish is when what? Not by strategy, it's still not bad. Overriding public interest. Overriding public interest. Not to reallocate to another person. Good. Good. Not to reallocate because we are entering here now, oh, estate and all that. I understand that you want to develop Abuja. Fine. We see the work that you have done. But in order to develop, you cannot just displace people. You have to create housing for them. We cannot live without the poor people. The poor people are the ones that we do some more jobs that you, the rich people, will not do. Share we can one pence. No. We can one. Uh, we can one the sweep road. No. So the people in the sweep road, no. they never the to the common people. It makes no sense. So please, Honorable Minister, and I also appeal to the President of the Federal Republic, Asimandu Bola Metinubu, please. Please don't let this uh, demolition go on. A few years ago, when we were staying in Dagba Area 1, it was demolished. We stayed under the ruin. I stayed under the ruin with my mother. We were looking for where to stay. There was no place for us to stay. We stayed there for days. So I understand what these people are going through. And guess what? Up to today, they've not developed Dagba. 
still like that. Do you understand? So this one now you have there, you are trying to pursue them because of maybe one of your friends, or I said maybe before Nasumi. Maybe because of one of your friends or one of all these people that have given you money, maybe. Because it's always like that at the end of the day. So next one we can think about all these people and even think about all these children before you continue this art. Thank you. The reason why we have come to this particular location, there are four different positions affecting thousands, more than 15,000 residents of the FCT in this location alone. You can see here two friends who their parents are directly affected. You can also see that there is a victim. One of the victims was shot. He is here, he's here. The media have captured. He has just been brought from the hospital. He was shot on the leg. Property bought millions of naira. Shops have been destroyed. After the demolition, the FCT and the FCTA administration, they not only did they demolish, they burned properties here. As you can see, the media can go around to verify it for themselves. We have come to, to identify with the poor people who are affected. We have, we have also been briefed. We were briefed just yesterday. We were briefed just yesterday by all the affected residents that we should take up their matter in court on their behalf. So we have come not just to sympathize, but to assess the level of that. All right, uh, still in Ruga community, where over 10,000 people have been displaced by the demolition that was carried out illegally, I must say, by the Honorable Minister Nelson Wike. Now, um, these men, these grandfathers, they've stayed here for more than 30 years. These people have been here before the main development even came to Abuja. They stayed here. And here they have their children and their grandchildren. Then to think that before Christmas, you are coming to scatter everywhere for them. Not just that, in this very hard economy, with the price of dollars, with the price of food stuff, and you do not even create a place for them to stay. It is craziness, wickedness, and it is not fair. Because this act will cause a very great insecurity, terrorism, and a lot more things will come, as, come after this. So this is my, my strategy it's here, of course, because I go everywhere with him, and and he goes everywhere with me too. So he's with the elderly. He will ask them some questions, and he will interpret for the camera. So my strategy. Okay. So he is saying that since the time of national air refine, yeah. government have been trying to steal their land, this particular land. Yeah. But they have not been successful. But that this is the most brazen, this is the most brazen assault they have faced since they've been here for over 37 years on this property. That they've been here before even most of the developments around here took place. And that, and, and that, they, that even since from that time, uh, since from National Stadium, they, they have always been here. But that they are dismayed and they are worried that this time the, the effort to grab this land is more brazen and it's more unrelenting. So just like we had said earlier uh, during our opener that we are appealing to President Bola Metin to prevail on the FCT minister to leave poor people's land for them. That poor people's land belong to poor people. That if they badly need a uh, land to grab, that they should go to Asukoro, they should go to Metama extension, they should go to Guzapen Men and Guzapen New. 
They should go to Katapé. There are so many places to grab land. Why will you come to airport, airport road to grab land from the poor so that you can give it to the rich? Now it will increase insecurity in the country. Yes, Look at the thousands of people yes. who are here now. Yes. yes. So, so, what Baba is saying, what Baba is saying is that since from that beginning of this express, close to the stadium, they have been moving them, moving them, moving them from their land. That they push them from since that stadium side yes. to this place. Yes. It was government that, and that they've met, they've met several ministers yes, in the FCT. Yes. That even the last minister for state, they met her. And that now they want to still remove them from here. That if they remove them from here, where will they go to? Yes. That, that's the question Baba is asking. So, Mr. So Wiki, should please, please consider these people and we are appealing to the president and even you Nelson Mike I believe that you are a father and you also have children take a good look at these children take a good look at these people poor people are your people we are all Nigerians please stop collecting their lands and let these people be thank you their children died here that they died here and the cemetery is just behind here and that they pray they pray for them all the time so why would you not want to force to remove them from their land that's what baba is saying